Kit is the newest brawler coming to the game and we can purchase him a week early. The real question is, is he worth it? This special offer very likely is not worth it for most people. In fact, I didn't even buy it on my pay to play account because there are way better offers for progression. For example, we can compare Chuck's early release offer to Kit's and as you can see, the progression that you got from Chuck's is just so much better and it's a whole $10 cheaper. Now, Kit is a legendary brawler after all. And so that should count for something, right? Even with legendary brawlers here, you can compare these two offers right here. You have the collector's pack and the gem cost. It comes down to almost exactly the same price as Kit's special offer. But that new legendary brawler that you unlock actually is maxed out and has a hypercharge. I mean, it's not early access, but the collector's pack is insane value in comparison to this new kit release pack. So this offer is a hard pass for me. Honestly, it is. So the question is, why am I even making this video? There are people that rely on me to show them the new brawler and show them how strong it is because in a week, kit will be released. So that's the main question here is, is kit worth unlocking? And if you do unlock kit, is kit worth upgrading? Let's find out if kit's worth it or not. Before you make any actual in-app purchases, you definitely want to go to the creator content boost at the very end of the shop, enter in code K. A I R O S or the code of your favorite content creator, select enter, and that'll give a little bit of a kickback to whichever creator you want to support. Here we go. Kit is, is unlocked. And uh, there we go. 10 out of 10 legendary brawlers. It's crazy that there are 10 of them now. Man, that's wild. And with Kit unlocked, we are going to upgrade him just like that. That is, that's, that's so, okay. I mean, I still have plenty of coins. I'm fine. We'll grab both of his gadgets and we will be testing both of these. We'll also be testing both of his star powers and we'll be testing in a variety of 3v3 and solo modes. I'm going to grab all of his gears and we'll see what we think is the absolute best one for him. Most brawlers, this is like the best gear setup, so we'll just start with that and see what we think. Now, the first 60 trophies are against bots, and uh, that's not really good gameplay, but I am curious to test a few things out here. I do have the star power here that actually increases my power, so... Uh, with each power cube. So it looks like I have seven power cubes or nine, but really these nine are the equivalent of 18 power cubes. So, I mean, he's, he ramps up really well. Well, there we go. First matchup. That's the equivalent of 20 power cubes right there, which is just nuts. We'll just jump on Lola here. She can't do anything right now. I'm just going to do damage to her and take her out. Dude, I had like totally missed her and I still landed on top of her. That's wild. So now it's like we have 10 power cubes here. I'm going to jump onto the B. I'm going to kill her. There's nothing she could do. She could have been spamming her attack and there was nothing she could have done. And now we jump onto this Poco and there's literally nothing that can be done. Why did my super recharge immediately? That's wild. Oh, I might die to this El Primo. I did. Okay, so like before he has power cubes, he's actually pretty weak. Now, before you judge me and say that I died to a bot, I'm testing things out here, okay? I wanna see how good he is. Dude, you just land on top of him and then your super's charged up again? I don't understand. So I just auto aim that super and now I just jump onto him. What the heck? There's no way that's intended. Okay, I've gotta see if that's right. Whoa, that was, okay. Super's almost charged all the way up. Is it based off of the damage that he does? Most supercharge rates don't scale up with the extra additional damage from power cubes, but it looks like his do, which is very broken. Look at that, he couldn't do anything. I mean, I know that these are bots, but that's insane. There's literally nothing that anybody could do in that situation. It's impossible to lose. Okay, that's a nasty bug. His supercharging rate should not scale up with power cubes. Okay, I'm gonna purposefully leave these boxes here and we're going to just test this out here, okay? I'm gonna jump onto somebody with my super with only one power cube. Okay, we'll jump onto him. Yeah, it didn't give me my full super. It only gave me like half. And I think seven power cubes is the mark, okay? Dude, okay, it's not quite seven. It's, I think it's eight for a perfectly full super, but seven's enough to get it close enough that the auto charging super automatically fills. So once kid has seven power cubes, it is game over. <laughs> okay, bot matches are over. So now we'll see how likely it is that it is even possible for you to get seven power cubes. We're facing off against three other kits. So I guess it's the first two that many, I don't know. Oh, who, how did he win? How, that was so weird. Dude, there's nothing that he could do. Oh he, oh, he was able to spam his attack. Okay, so it is possible for a brawler with a faster unload speed to actually take you out right afterwards. That's actually really cool. I feel like I'm one of the only people who would be excited about the fact that I lost that interaction. <laughs> Learning these things is important though. Oh, another one jumped on me. Okay, so we try this here. 
Oh, and he won because he jumped first? So if you are in a scuffle with another kit, don't spam your super. Wait until they jump into the air, and then you have a split second to activate it so that when they land, they won't be on top of you, and then you jump on top of them. Okay, so far, I've just been testing these weird interactions and stuff, and I've lost every single time against real players. So I'm going to actually try this time to see how quickly I can actually get uh, ramped up. Let's come over here. We'll get rid of this Nani if we can. Perfect. Okay. Come on. Perfect. Oh, that was weird. Okay. Oh, I'd better run. Let's let's uh, hide in our little box. That's so funny. It doesn't look like we're invisible like it does with Leon, you know? Okay, there we go. Dude, nobody can do anything. That is nuts. That is broken. You cannot let a kit reach that many trophy or that many power cubes. If you do, it's game over. Dude, the fact that he has freaking four invisibility Leon gadgets, that is, that's broken. That is ridiculous. That needs a nerf. I've only used it successfully once, but that is too much. Okay, until that bug, I'm calling it a bug. I don't know if it's actually a bug or it should be a bug. His supercharge should not scale up with power cubes. But until that's dealt with, there's no way for me to know how strong he's actually going to be in solo showdown because with the bug, he's broken. He's insane. He's, he, it's, it's too much. So let's play him in some 3v3 modes because I feel, or you know what, honestly, oh, duo showdown is probably going to be even more broken because we have the scaling from his star power <laughs> and we also have a teammate where we can actually use his super. I'm curious, but then again, maybe it's just better for me to go and assassinate people. Well, I, I, let's try this out. There's no other kit. So if we get seven power cubes, I, I think mean, it's game over. Dude, look at this. Dude, it's, it's, it's insane. There is nothing that this team could have done to save themselves. There is absolutely nothing they could have done. I didn't even have very much HP. And I don't even have to engage with anybody else if I don't want to. Oh, it looks like I can. Oh, well, <laughs> we won. I was going to say, I could have just waited for my super to charge, and then it's game over. I win. I didn't even have to jump on my teammate. Oh, but now I have a Miko teammate, so I have to jump on my teammate. I've got to see what this feels like. We'll jump on my teammate, and then I spam attack, and <laughs> we're jumping around. <laughs> <laughs> He's dead. Okay, now I've got seven power cubes. Eight. It's it's over. Dude. Oh, oh, dang it. I wasted the auto aim on the box. And so now I have to wait for my super to charge up for me to come take him out. Oh, but look at this. I can just use my box here. And then it's game over. <laughs> like, <laughs> this is just unfair. Miko is officially the only brawler <laughs> to be able to counter Kit because he can jump away. <laughs> oh, that's... Damage scaling is so mean. I don't even need to play him in duo or solo showdown anymore. He's busted. But I do want to know how strong he is in 3v3 because, I mean, hopefully this bug it gets nerfed. Okay, this is going to be a little bit better here. The fact that I can just start off with invisibility is just nuts. Okay, well, that's weird. Oh, that's okay. I died. Okay, now we jump on my teammate. I can't hit him. I can't hit him. I suck. <laughs> okay. Pass it up here. 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 Are you kidding me? Oh my gosh. That was the worst decision he could have done. Get closer to them so I can actually deal some damage. Oh, that was good. Dude. Okay. If he could have just like passed the ball a little bit better, that would have been better. But you know what? That worked out well. The fact that you can just start out with a Leon super is just wild. Okay, we'll jump over here and we kick it in. Dude. Oh. Ooh, kid is good. <laughs> I'll just land on the pearl and she can't defend. What is this? He's busted for Brawl Ball 2 like so bad. Let's come right over here. They don't know I'm here. Oh, Colette knows. Let's jump on her. She's dead. Let's come over here. Come on, Grom. Yes! Kicked it in! Oh, that felt so satisfying. We jump over there. <laughs> okay. Oh, he didn't even know I was there because he was invisible. I was invisible. Oh, oh, he did the thing. He used the super afterwards. Oh, but it, it didn't matter. Kick it up to me, dude. There we go. Okay, finally. Wow. Dude. 
He's busted for Brawl Ball. He is so busted. Look at, okay, I finally did get a star player. The one match that gave us a hard time was the one time we were facing off against another kit. He can go in without worrying about it because I can just do this. And if there's multiple brawlers right here, oh, Actually, that did not work how I thought it was going to work. I thought I was going to attack multiple of them and then recharge my super and then just jump right back on them, but they did a lot of damage. Okay, but now we're in here. Oh, okay. Oh, man. I don't even know if I ever want to jump on my teammate. He's such a good assassin without being on a teammate. I mean, I know that I'm not playing like super competitive matches right here, but I can't, I, I don't know. Just assassinating somebody seems to be the right call almost every time. Dude, that's so insane. Look, I'll hop on her. She can't defend. She could not, I mean, I, we killed her, but she could not defend the ball at all because I was just hanging out on her. Oh, dude. It, he's just see look <laughs> okay we are at a, a 10 win win streak i've got to move off of brawl ball we're gonna try some heist here and i imagine this is probably one of if not the worst map for him and we'll see if he struggles at all at this point i just want him to not be perfect at everything okay i'm on my teammate we're gonna do some serious damage to the safe okay we hopped off Oh, wow. Okay. That was actually pretty cool. We'll go right there. And it just eliminated him so that I was then able to... <sighs> what is this brawler? Okay, I'm going to heal up my Lou friend here. And we're both going to heal while I'm hanging out on top of him. Get a little bit closer, dude. Dude, that is just nuts. Come on, we gotta do it. Get rid of it, come on. Yes, no, where? Oh, he lost. Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> okay, we're gonna try out some gem grab and see how he feels. I, I want to use him as a turret. Like I want to jump onto teammates, but I'm finding it so satisfying just jumping on enemies and assassinating them. He's, he's, that gadget is just so broken. It's just like he can use it without any repercussions. It lasts a long time and you can use it four times with his gear. It's just nuts. Keep my gem carrier alive. I'm just going to hang out on him. We're going to heal 600 HP every second. Dude, and we're dealing damage at the same time. Oh, he's so busted. Okay, wipe out. Almost no walls, almost no cover. Surely this could be a little bit of a struggle, right? I mean, we're facing off against like a traditional like wipeout team comp. I'm just going to hop into my little gadget here and just do that. And then I'm going to jump on Grom. He can't do anything about it. I'm just going to take him out. He can't. He's like, <laughs> I'll wait for Piper to attack. Oh, I didn't do it at the right time. I was hoping that would work. And then I use my invisibility and run away. Like, <laughs> what is this? We'll jump on Piper now. <laughs> Heal him. Come on. Come on. Come on, Grom. Deal some damage. And jump on Nani. And he's it's game over 10-0. How many of those kills did I get? Oh, six of them. <laughs> he has zero weaknesses. He is the perfect brawler. And I mean it in the worst absolute way possible. I know exactly how this is going to end, but I haven't played him in knockout, so we're going to try it. Oh, facing off against another kit. Okay, okay. This is where things get serious. His one weakness is another kit. Oh, we ended up losing. Okay, okay. The other kit honestly did take me off by surprise. It makes sense. Now, I do want to give one big, huge, fat disclaimer here. I am power 11, and most of these brawlers are power 8 that I'm facing off against. We have faced off against a few max kits, but they're the only other ones that have given us any issue at all. It's not even close. I know the power discrepancy is pretty big, but kit, if you play kit right, he has so few weaknesses. I mean, you probably already have an idea of how strong I think he is, but let's rank him in damage, utility, survival, ability, ease of use, and fun. Starting off with damage, and surprisingly, I'm actually not going to rate Kit super high for damage. I'm going to give him a 7 out of 10. I mean, that, that's actually pretty decent. The way I played him most of the time throughout this video was basically just as an assassin, and as an assassin, he can do pretty good damage or burst damage, but there are other assassins that can do way 
way more and throughout an entire match there are brawlers that can do even more than that the thing is is it's not his damage that makes him completely broken as an assassin it's the fact that he can't take damage while dealing damage to enemies that makes him broken and that brings us to his utility score which is an 11 out of 10. i don't think i've ever given a brawler an 11 out of 10 before Clearly, I've broken my scale by doing so, but I think that it makes sense for Kit. He can deal damage up close. He can deal damage from a distance when he's on top of a, a person. He can jump super far. It's almost impossible to miss his super. He can land on somebody, which incapacitates them for a couple of seconds, making him amazing on defense or offense in Brawl Ball. It can also allow your teammates to kind of give you some support so that once you're done dealing damage, they can take him out. He can go invisible up to four times using his gas which is a huge unfair advantage, especially at the beginning of a match, since enemies have zero way of knowing for sure where he's coming from. He can heal himself and teammates when he uses his super on them. His super automatically charges. He can attack as a thrower while mounted on teammates, which makes him useful even in heist or against a ton of different other types of throwers or whatever. He's pretty much good on every map, every mode. He's completely broken in showdown where his super charge scales up with each power cube. And even after that gets fixed, he's still going to be a monster in that mode thanks to his first star power. He has almost no weaknesses, and the only real way to counter him is with another brawler like Nico or other kits who can dodge Kit Super by jumping at the absolute perfect time. <sighs> I feel like I'm ranting, but like, actually, his utility is off the charts. As for his survivability, I'm going to give him an 8 out of 10. And Kit doesn't have a whole lot of HP. There are definitely other assassins that are better at surviving scary situations, and plenty of other brawlers that have different abilities that allow them to survive even more. But Kit has three features that give him a lot of survivability. The fact that he can easily jump out of the way as needed is really huge because he can dodge ammo. He, if he's in a scary situation, he can just jump. The fact that he can jump onto teammates and heal both himself and his teammate is just insane. And the fact that his second gadget will give even more healing when Kit is on a teammate is also great. Now, I didn't even use that second gadget a single time in this video because I think that his invisibility is more fun to play with. It's probably the better option overall and needs a nerf, but assuming that it does get nerfed, I think that his second gadget will also be really good. And I do think that an 8 out of 10 is justified on Kit, even though he doesn't have a ton of HP. So the question is, how easy is he to use? And for this, I'm giving him a 7 out of 10, and Kit is pretty easy to use. By the way, a 10 out of 10 is like the easiest to use roller in the game, right? I think that at the competitive level, it's going to require some skill to know exactly how best to use his super. But even then, I think that there are more complicated brawlers, especially considering the fact that Kit's auto attack attacks are very easy to use and the real reason why I feel like he deserves a pretty high ease of use score is the fact that it's almost impossible to miss his super if you're actually trying. So what about his fun score? And this is honestly a very hard category for me to score for Kit because he's completely busted and when brawlers are just busted they're more fun to play like honestly. So I'm gonna give him an, an 8 out of 10 for like overall but as he is right now he's a 10 out of 10 because you're going to win way more than you lose, especially if you have him maxed out like I do. Like, he's so busted. But I think that he is going to get some nerfs. I would be shocked if he didn't. And once he is toned down more, he's going to be a solid 8 out of 10. Very fun to play, not the most fun to play, but very worthy of the legendary rarity. So the question is, is he worth buying? With the special early access offer, I don't think that's worth it, unless you just want to spend 30 bucks to have just a, a ridiculously broken brawler a week before most other people. But it's, it's probably not even worth it then. Is he worth unlocking with credits? Absolutely. Is he worth upgrading? At least for right now, 100%. He's insane. And it's probably going to be a while before he gets a balance change. I mean, unless he gets some sort of an emergency nerf, which is possible. But at the time that I'm recording this, Supercell's on vacation. So... It might be a while. Either way, I want to know what you guys think. So let me know in the comment section below. Subscribe for future content, at least for the Larry and Laurie video, where we'll cover how strong they are. And I, I, I think they're going to be broken. Not quite as broken as this, but we'll see. And we'll see in the next video.